And the crisis in the Red Sea is deepening further as Houthis have warned of escalating attacks in the critical waters. Yemen's Houthi rebels launched attacks on both Israel and a ship traveling through the Gulf of Aden on Thursday, setting the vessel ablaze. And this comes despite facing U.S.-led airstrikes targeting their forces. Group's military spokesperson said in a televised speech that Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthis conducted three military operations, including targeting the island of ship in the Gulf of Aden with naval missiles and Israel's Alat with ballistic missiles and drones. Earlier, a senior leader of the group says that they have now introduced submarine weapons in continued solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. The death toll has stopped almost 30,000 in the Palestinian enclave. He further said that more attacks will mirror Israel's growing offensive in the besieged strip. He also added that retaliatory strikes by the U.S.-British coalition have failed to stop its campaign. This comes after the Yemen's rebel group issued a statement banning vessels linked to Israel. The United States and UK from transiting the areas around the Red Sea. This includes Gulf of Aden as well as Arabian Sea. The two notices outlining the ban were issued to shipping insurers and firms by the Houthis Humanitarian Operations Coordination Center. On Thursday, a missile attack damaged a vessel off the Yemen coast. The vessel and crew were reported safe later. In a separate incident, U.S. aircraft and an Allied warship shot down six drones launched by Houthis, while a France frigate shot two other drones. Houthis have been terrorizing commercial vessels and ships in the Red Sea since November. Its relentless attacks have forced many companies to take a longer and more expensive route around Africa. Global trade has been disrupted and shipping rates have increased. The key route accounts for about 12% of global maritime traffic. The UN Conference on Trade and Development earlier said that traffic passing through the Swiss Canal has fallen by over 40% in the recent months. And in order to tackle the rising Houthi threat, the European Union even no, launched a naval mission on the 19th of February. The mission, the mission, which means shield, will begin in a few weeks with at least four vessels, according to officials. A U.S.-led maritime coalition comprising of over 20 countries is already present in the region. For latest news, download the Veon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.